that is a pretty nicely finished hole, all things considered, considering how crappy that sounded. All right, let's bring her back out. Waiting, waiting. Yeah, so their website says 1,000 revolutions per minute. My hiney. All right. Max NC, you're full of it. You are full of it. All right. No, I'm not. I am not cutting my finger off by doing that, so I look at that as a good sign. Now, what you'll notice here is I made about three or four attempts at doing this particular thing. I did not change the zero coordinate at all, but in my attempts to do this, um, you can see that we missed quite a few steps. And so instead of the hole being here, the center of the hole being here like we originally wanted, it ended up being here. Now, I blame, I blame this, and I blame this. More this than this, but for sure this. So, I got these, and I'm hoping these, uh, combined with the breakout board, uh, don't look at this. Combined with the breakout board, uh, maybe I'll get a smooth stepper if this uh, doesn't get, doesn't do a well enough job, a good enough job. Uh, but, uh, these may just not be strong enough torque-wise to, but uh, I, I don't really think this is giving me the best power either because uh, I can hear a difference in the load in the motor, which, holy, that's hot. Ooh, that's spicy. I mean, I can, I can touch it, but yeah, that's that's about unbearable at that point. So we push the limits of this machine right there. But we also went through this hole, flipping quick, right? And let's be honest, that isn't in the vice all that well. <laughs> yeah, that. That could have been causing some chatter too. Although I guess I didn't really, it's not like I squared up the ends of this stock or anything. It's just hand, you know, from the saw. But, so yeah, there's our hole. Let's see if we can get you some surface finish. That's, I, I, I'm not a machinist, but I call that reasonable. If I get my shaking hands here. There we go. I'd call that reasonable. So, can you mill aluminum on the Max NC10? The answer is, yeah. I mean, you don't want to go too slow in aluminum because then you'll you'll heat up this bit to the point that she she's no good. She's just no good at all. You know what I mean? Uh, this is high speed steel. Uh, it's a five sixteenths uh, end mill with a three eighth shank and a Jacobs chuck that came with the machine. Uh, we were probably running her at around 5,000 RPM. Uh, th that's a guesstimate based on a little laser optical RPM sensor I had on here earlier. Um, so yeah, we we're probably running it at four to 5,000 RPM at about four inches per minute, which is incredible. Our surface speed per minute is way too high. We're probably in the thousands or so, and we need to be in the 300 for aluminum to give it a good finish, um, as I understand it. So, uh, with that in mind, yes, you can totally do aluminum. Uh, our chips, I mean, they're not too bad, all things considered. I mean, I, I'm not a machinist, but they're, they're not horribly small. There are some horribly small ones, yes, but they seem to be okay chip size-wise. And considering I didn't have a mister coolant or anything like that, seems like, I mean, that wasn't hot to the touch or anything. So, yeah, I think you could, uh, you, you could easily do Aluminum. I, I probably went a little too aggressive uh, for this motor because holy crap, she's hot for that little bit. So we were straining her, and we have her, we have her as far down as she'll go. So this is as torquey as that mobile motor, that one fifth motor is going to be. So, uh, so if we could pick up our feed rate, put our chi our our ch the chip load on the tooth down to like one thou or something and get our RPM down to a little better 
measure, I think this would uh, would do a very good job. Um, so you, you you definitely noticed a lot of chattering, but once again, that could just been <laughs> my not having it too tight in the vise. I I didn't really give her the beans when I was uh, when I was tightening this down, so maybe that did it. I don't know. I'm still figuring this out. Anyway, so that's that. If you're thinking of a Max NC10 for aluminum, uh, totally viable, I would say, just as they said on their website. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to do some experiments with removing uh, the steppers from this uh, and putting them on here using the breakout board to translate uh, Mach 3's instructions to these. And these all have their own 120 power source. Um, and yeah, we'll see... Uh, We'll see what she does. We may have to get bigger versions of this, but uh, you know, it's not like we're gonna. It's not like this is a, you know, big boy mill or anything. Holy cow! Okay, well, that wasn't like. I swear to God, that wasn't like that when I started this. So we're gonna have to do some adjusting here. You can see. Focus. There we go. So yeah, you can see that moving. Should not be like that. We didn't damage the ways. It doesn't look like. So, that would be another source of our chatter, which uh, can only be a good thing if we get that under control. I think we're going to have to take these out and uh, put in some, maybe some hex head screws and a lock and a jam nut so that we can keep these from vibrating loose. How about the rest of this? Are you good and tight? Yeah, the rest is good, X and Y, but Z, that's probably just my fault. For Maybe I didn't have that taken care of originally. All right, 